Mr. So Small, we're gonna bring in the electrician. So I say, no, y'all full of jokes. He said, oh no, we're gonna bring in the electricians. Because they have doctors who are human electricians. And their job is to measure the electrical current that goes from your brain to your heart and to your other organs and to look at the relationship to the electrical current in your body and how much is it being interfered with from things outside of your body. Does that sound like voodoo to you? So that's what voodoo is talking about. And while on one hand we deny it when we talk about voodoo, but here in our highest science, it is proven to be reality. So the Africans had absolutely no fear because they knew that this was a transformation that it is how you live that matters, not how you die. The concept of zombies comes from Vodun. It's an African concept. And it's not about the living dead, it's about worshiping the ancestors, praising the ancestors. But the white supremacists, they flip that into something demonic where people are gonna come out the ground and walk around and get you. And that's that boogeyman concept that they've created because of the Haitians rising up and getting revenge. And that's always been a scary thing for the white supremacists, African people rising up, getting revenge on them. That's the zombie mentality that they've created because that's their fear. When you look at the old zombie movies back in the 1920s and 30s and 40s, they would actually use Africans and Haitians as zombies. And out of their West Indian island comes a tale of terror and voodoo, of witchcraft and zombies, and all the weird black magic that the white man seldom sees. All of those old zombie movies had voodoo themes, so they were very open about it then. You see, the thing about Duddy Bookman was he was so intelligent, he knew that he might not get it, because he did get captured and he was executed. But the revolution continued with the people. And that's another lesson I learned about the Haitian Revolution. It wasn't so much the leaders, it was the people. The people never gave up the spirit. To this very day, they still have the spirit. Bookman is known for 